Hi guys, in this video you will learn how to control literally any servo with literally any Raspberry Pi, so stay tuned. We'll go through hardware and software as well, but let's start with some theory introduction. Each servo has three cables, uh, one is for ground, second one for power and third one for control signal. As you can see colors sometimes are different, but in general red is for power and the darkest one is for ground, so yellow or white is for control signal. First of all, before you start to write some scripts, you have to check what is the range of your servo. For example, this powerful servo has 270 degrees of range, but 180 or 90 degrees are also very popular. We steer servos with PWM signal and with this knowledge, you can check in datasheet which value corresponds to minimum and maximum positions. For example, for this servo, if I put 500 PWM uh, signal, the arm will rotate to minimum position, 0 degrees, and for 2500 it will rotate to maximum position, 270 degrees. If you want to achieve some position in between, the relation is linear, so it's very easy. It can be confusing, especially if you have some experience with DC motors, because there the PWM duty cycle is controlling the speed of the motors, but in servos it doesn't impact speed, just the position. That's very important to understand. One more important topic, what's the difference between controlling small servo and big powerful servo? If you'll try to connect this one to your GPIO port, for sure it will fry your Raspberry. GPIO ports can tolerate very small current and they are not suitable for uh, powerful servos motors and stuff like that. This one popular SG90, technically you can try to power it directly with GPIO, uh, but I always recommend to use external power supply for every servo, just to make sure you don't fry your Raspberry, which is much more expensive than this small SG90. Before jumping to the code, let's look at the wiring. My apologies for inconsistent colors, but I only have this. My old smartphone charger is a power supply, 5 volts. I simply connected 5 volts to the power and ground to the ground. On my Raspberry, signal is connected to GPIO 18. That's because I am using it in my script. It could be any other uh, PWM pin. And the last one, which a lot of beginners forget, it's the common ground. So you have to connect also Raspberry to the ground because you have to close the circuit to uh, send proper control signals. Okay, I've connected my Raspberry with SSH and prepared the script. I am importing servo class from GPIO0. As I said, I chose pin number 18, minimum pulse width and maximum pulse width. As far as I know, 500 and 2500 are the most popular ones, but with different servos, uh, you should check out datasheet to make sure that you put correct values. If you properly set this, uh, steering is very easy, uh, just minus one for zero position, one for maximum, uh, in my case 270 position, uh, zero for the center, and everything between. I put sleep uh, just to get better visibility, it's not necessary, and that's basically it. Let's test it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. And see you soon.